Hello guys, I'm Austin from the KOTLC fanbase, and today I'm going to be doing KOTLC trivia. I found two quizzes on Keeper Lost Cities, and one is 20 questions and one is 31 questions. I will provide the links in the descriptions if you want to check it out. But yeah, I will be going through two quizzes today and seeing if I am knowledgeable about KOTLC. You know, if I get a lot of questions wrong, that's probably a sign that I need to reread the KOTLC series. But before we hop into this video, we have to do a shout out to our new members. Um, thank you guys so much. So, uh, here comes the shout outs. So I'm going to be reading off the names of our members. We have XXX, Rose XXX, Articio Cat, Rebecca Trace, Wendy Baumans, Lee Marie, White Cap, Evie Pop Tarts, Troy Reads, and um, a little bit more of a special shout out. We actually have our first counselor, Galaxy Pegasus, or Kylie Noche. So thank you so much, Kylie. If you want to be added to our member shout outs and other fun perks like badges, and emojis and member only videos make sure you click the join button on our channel page these perks are awesome and amazing so i definitely definitely suggest that you do this and all of our members right now please email us at kotlcfanbase at gmail.com so we can get in contact with you and deliver you your perks without further ado let's get into the video all right guys so i found my quiz i'm using quizzes.com and let's just go ahead and start it starting the quiz three two one all right so the first question is what is who is main character's cousin okay so that's gonna be Dex because that's Grady's I think nephew yep that's correct in what book did Dex get his ability oh I have no idea I think it, was, it can't be book one. It can't be book five, because that's too late in the series. I'm, I'm thinking book three, so. Ooh, book one. Dex got, wow, I didn't know that, okay. Hmm. Oh, this is, this has a different, okay, so he's, he's not an ever seen member. He's a doctor. He's not Sophie's dad, or we don't, we don't really know that yet, but I think we're just gonna go, he's a doctor and he's a flasher, right? Okay, question number four. How many abilities does Sophie have? I don't know when this was made, but she doesn't have three. She has, she has five. Yep, okay. Okay, question number five. Do you love the series? Okay, of course, absolutely. <laughs> A little free question right there. Who is the first elf Sophie has met? So, who's the first elf Sophie has met? Fits definitely in the first book. What? Oh, she, yeah, she, oh, Mr. Vogel's neighbor. I can't believe I got that wrong. Okay. Who's the main character's little sister? Amy. That becomes Natalie. All right, eight. Question eight, do you love the series? Why is this again? All right, we'll get absolutely on course. Okay, so Keith calls Sophie Foster. I think he calls her Foster, Mysterious Miss F. I don't think he calls her Soph, but I'll just say these three, but maybe she might call Soph, I don't know. What? How is that wrong? Okay, whatever. Who is Sandor? Sandor is Sophie's bodyguard. Okay, another power up. What are we gonna get? Streak saver, I like that. Like that. Even though I'm not doing it for the points, I'm doing it for the numbers correct and numbers wrong. Ooh, redemption. Dang, I got three wrong. Um, I'm gonna go two. Okay, this question, I have no idea. Okay, Foster. I'm gonna go all of them. He doesn't call Sophie Sophie. Are you kidding me? Okay, who's evil? Um, I'm gonna say Alvar, obviously. Sophie's mother. Ooh, okay, so this is up to date. This is up. Ooh, wait. 
Um, oh shoot. I'm just gonna say or a lot. Oh, this is not very specific. I'm just gonna say or a lot. Okay, good. This is this is up to date. Quiz. All right. Do you have a favorite character? Yes, let's go key. Let's go key. Incorrect. Oh, this quiz is whack. All right, what is this book series called? This is called, ooh, let me, let me get this double points right here. Keep it lost city. Let's go. All right, number 15. What is the main character's enemy? Never seen. Obviously. All right, let's get to number 16. Who is Kala? Ooh, okay, I'm pretty sure, yeah, she's she's not an ogre unicorn. She's a, she's a gnome. Gnome, gnome, I have no idea how to call it. Never known that much, but. <laughs> what is the main character's stuffed animal? <sighs> not a red lion. No, it's a blue elephant. I don't know the name, but it's, it's a blue elephant, yeah. All right, I'm getting a lot of these right, right now. Perfect. Who's the main character? Sophie, yeah. We have her perspective, but actually, book 8.5, we have Keith's perspective, so that's something to look forward to. Ooh, that boosts the points for one question. All right. Who did the main character accidentally find in Exilium? Pretty sure it's a, a gnome, right? Yes. I had no idea. I just guessed on that one. All right. 20. Who's the main character's telepath? Tel Telepathy mentor. Not Alina, not Bronte, not Alden. I must say Tyrion. Alright, let's go. Do I get um do I get a yes redemption question? <laughs> Alright. And what book? Now I know it's book one, so okay. Let's see what my score was in this quiz. So let's see, okay, 17, correct, three incorrect. So I got, who was the first elf Sophie has met? I accidentally said Fitz and she actually, Mr. Forkel. Keith Call, okay, this was, I. Sh that's not a good question. Number nine and number 13, that's not a good question. So I technically got one question wrong because do you have a favorite character and Keith, like why would Keith not call Sophie Sophie? So, so I'm gonna say I've got 17 out of 18 correct. So let's get into the next quiz. All right guys, so I found my um, new quiz and I'm gonna put the link in the description. So first we're gonna go to number one. I think this is actually a harder quiz. So first question is, what was the name of the dinosaur that Sophie, Sophie's teacher asked her to tell the class about when she wasn't paying attention in the museum? Kind of Tyrannosaurus Rex, Lambiosaurus, Lamosaurus, Lamosaurus, or Albert, Albertosaurus. I'm gonna have to go with this because I don't think these two Makes sense, and I have no idea what that is, so I'm gonna go with that. Number two, which lost city does Fitz take Sophie to first? And I'm pretty sure this is Atlantis, because I remember she was scared to step in that like whirlpool thing, so that's that's number two. Which two families put up adoption offers for Sophie after her tribunal in book one? Edeline and Grady Ruin, Julie, Julian and Kessler Disney. No, not not Julian and Kessler. They already have enough kids. Oh my God. I'm pretty sure it's yeah, it's just these two. They they were competing for her. Where where were Sophie and Dex taken when they were kidnapped? They were in France, right? Um, or England? No, I would say France. No, because they were in San Diego. So yeah, France. What is the name of? The creature that helped Sophie bottle the Everblaze, and what kind of creature is it? Ooh, I think it's a Flareon. Flareodon. Because I kind of re recognize that name. Gildy or Gold Goldie? Gildy. I'm pretty sure it's Gildy. Man, this might come back to bite me. I, I don't know the name. I think it's a Flareodon. It's Gildy. It has, it has to be Gildy. This is test taking skills for her. Gildy. There's two Gildies, and there's only one Goldy. So it's got to be Gildy. Who is Sophie's best friend? Oh my gosh, this could be anybody. Biana or Biana. That's what okay. That's, yeah, I think that's her best friend. Who is Sophie, 
Who is Sophie with in the first scene of Exile? I'm just gonna say, he's with Grady. Dex Grady. De yeah, he might. Dex Grady and Sandor, I'm pretty sure. Because it has to have a Grady. I don't think he was with Keaton Fed. So yeah, Dex Grady and Sandor. Who tries to take Sylvanie away from Sophie in the middle of the night? I'm gonna say never seen. Who tries to take Sylvan away from Sophie in the middle of the night? I'm gonna say never seen. I don't think they would take Sophie. Oh, try who tries to take Sylvan away? Oh, okay. Timken, Vina, and Stina Hex. How many Alcorns are there at the time of the second book, Exile? There's one. And then there's Ooh, this could be two. No, I think so. I think it's one. Why and where does Al We'll have to go back to this one. Um, I gotta say one, okay. Why and where does Alden's mind break for the first time? Guilt. Guilt. Where and where, where? Why and where does Alden's mind break for the first time? I'm thinking guilt. Guilt that Wiley's dad. Or Wiley's mom. And Wiley's, like, he doesn't have his parents. So, I'm pretty sure that. Which mentor, which mentors is not happy to be back at Foxfire to teach Sophie in her second year at the prestigious school? Hmm. I don't think this is this, because they're actually in the council of the Black Swan. I think it's, oh. I think it's, maybe it's, it's not Bronte, because I'm pretty sure, no, it is Bronte. It's Bronte. Why does Why does Biana become Sophie's friends? Biana thinks she and Sophie could really be good could be really good friends. Alden tells Biana to befriend her or to stay start hanging out because of the fits. I think it's Alden tells B yeah, yeah, I remember that. That's that was a plot. Okay. When does Sophie find out she can teleport? Ooh. That's a, that's a difficult one. Um, I think this is the beginning of Exile when she found Sylvanie. Because they're both uh, maybe teleporting. Okay, what is Brant's ability? Pyrokinetic. Tragic, tragic. Oh, he's pyrokinetic, okay. What is the last line of Everblaze? When her eyes met, she whispered, Sophie. Okay, that that is the the, the one before nightfall. So, Sophie Foster was going home. I don't think so. So yeah. Okay, yeah. I think Black's the never the book never seen was after Everblaze. Oops. Who is Fertina? Yep. Yeah, I know this one. It's Jolie's old talking here. Okay. Okay, yeah. Jo Jolie's old talking here. Talking here. Where does Sophie and her friends live when they run to the Black Swan? Not Havenfield. Ah, oh. it's, it's not. I think it's a Blivmeyer or a Louvater. No. Oh. Oh, this is this is hard. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a Louvater. Oh, these is both these both ring bells to me. These both ring bells to me. Why is my my sight keeping this okay? Oh. I'm gonna say a blue admirer because I who oh, okay I'm just gonna I'm just gonna skip. All right, who is Koifi? Koifi. This person right here. I don't I I just recognize his name, but I know it's not this, and I know it's not this, and I remember something to do with a heck being something Koifi. So who's Granite? That is a good question because this guy's talentless, this guy's a mesmer, it's a I know I remember that. How many hemispheres are there in Exilium? Three, right? I, I don't know what a hemisphere is, but I'm just gonna guess three. <laughs> what ability has Sophie manifested? She, well, she has manifested as a telepath. Uh, you know, we can, just, we can just get this out the way. 
we can just get this out the way. We obviously know she's not discard. We obviously know she has more abilities than that. So we're gonna go to that. What is the title of the fifth book? So I'm gonna start from the from backwards. So if we can we know we know that eight was legacy, seven was flashback, six was nightfall, five was lodestar. Okay, we're good. Who joined Never Seen and Betrayed Sophie? Betrayed, yeah, I would say Keith. Not really betrayed, but. All right, 24. Who talks to Sophie when she enters Prentice's mind? Not Young Prentice, not Wiley. Jolie. So I remember she was asking why he was there. Was Keith almost kissed? It's, it's beyond that, right? Yeah, I remember that story. I remember that story. These vague details. All right. What is Sophie's human family's new names? Yep. Connor, Kate, Natalie, Freeman. Yeah, yeah. Definitely not this. Because it says human family and their names and changed, but they did. Which member of the Vacker family is part of Never Seen? Pitt, Stella, Biana, Alden, or Alvar. Who does Sophie kiss? We all wish it was this, but, you know, okay. I see you, Dex. I see you. 29. What is the first line of Nightfall? I feel like it would be Sander saying, or Sandor saying, this is a security nightmare. I just feel that. That's in my brain right now. And I'm doing this all without looking at my notes or anything. Okay, so, 30. When was Keeper Lost Cities published? There's eight books. And it's 2020, so 2020 minus 8, 2012. So number 31, which of Sophie's friends admits that he likes her in flashback? This could be Keith Fitz, but I think it was Fitz because that actually became a couple or something. So yeah, let's let's say let's say let's say Fitz. I'm, it might be Keith, but let's see. Now let's hit the button. Let's finish this thing. Test results. Keep Lost City's books one to seven test results. You're, okay, it says, wow, you're quite the Keepers fan. Keep up the good reading, work, and you may someday, someday get to Fox by yourself. You have correctly answered 23 of 31 questions. Okay, on average, 1,066, 1,666 of users use the quiz got, gave 26.09 right answers. So I'm below average right now. That's the end of the two quizzes I took. I, I had a great time doing this and, you know, testing my KLTLC knowledge. This is definitely a sign that I need to read, read the series, and I should probably reread it soon. Let's get into the outro. Okay guys, to wrap up this video, thank you guys so much for watching. This was so fun to make and test my actual KOTLC knowledge by doing a KOTLC quiz. I feel like I did okay. I mean, I know I missed, you know, a couple of questions, but I think that I did good on quiz one, you know. That, a couple of questions on that were bad, but on quiz two, I kind of struggled because there's a little bit more specific details that um, I had to remember, and I don't think I read those books in, you know, maybe one or two years, so I definitely have to reread these. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment down below. We read all your comments and we try to reply to every single one of them, and if you want to support our channel even more, join our channel with a membership to get some exclusive perks for a low monthly fee. That's all I've got to say in this video. I hope you guys have a great day. Peace.